Hello and welcome back. This is video number five and let's go ahead and dive in. This is going to be joint venture private promotions. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement Avenue number one, which is JV promotions. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, before I jump into jvzoo.com, basically what you want to do is in order to do this effectively, you will need to recreate and duplicate your funnel. And while that might seem a little bit of time to do, yes, it is. These things could potentially make you a lot of money. So who cares if it takes you time, right? So in order to do this, there are obviously two different ways that you can do it. You can either set up a coupon just for them. But if you set up a coupon, you're going to be sending them to the main page, right? So yes, they get a coupon, but you really can't customize that page. You can't really put a countdown timer on that page because everybody else is going to see it. So unless you're doing a launch for everybody, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? So in order to do this effectively, you're going to need to duplicate all the pages in your funnel and then create a separate folder and put all the you know pages in a folder so you don't mix it up with your main page. And then you're going to need to customize that page. You're going to need to say this offer is only for such and such subscribers. So let's say, for example, the subscribers are coming from um, John Smith. We'll just use that as, as an example. You can say $10, $20 discount only for John Smith subscribers. So that way, when they land on the page, it feels more customized towards them and you can put the countdown timer 72 hours and there you go so when you do this you will need to set up a jv contract and i'll show you how to do that assuming that you know how to duplicate your funnel pages on all that simply just duplicate them the only thing that needs to change is you need to set up a jv contract to do that so JV contracts tend to be a little bit more appealing, especially to big list owners, simply because they are guaranteed that they will be credited the sale for anyone they send to a page or buys through that link. So basically what that means is that typically as an affiliate, somebody could send their list to your front page. Now they are really hoping that somebody doesn't delete their cookies. So if somebody deletes their cookies, they are not going to get the sale. Now, if you set up a JV zoo, JV contract and you put them on the contract, then any sale that they refer to that page, even if somebody else come to that page, they are credited. So as an affiliate, as a joint venture partner, they are going to take you a lot more seriously. They are more likely to push harder because they know that they are not going to lose money. And that's something that all affiliates, you know, think about. We think about we're going to send so and so as much traffic as possible, but we're going to lose that traffic. We're going to lose that sale. So, if you can kind of fill those holes up, it's going to make you more sales. They're going to push harder. So, let's go ahead and go to jvz.com and let me show you how to actually implement everything. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to set up a JV contract. Now, in order to do that, you go to sellers, click on JVs, and up at the top, you're going to see a big orange button, just like the other JVZoo buttons, like add a product. You're going to see a button that says add a JV agreement. And you're going to want to go ahead and click that link, and you're going to get to this page here. So super easy. And basically, let me walk you through. What I've done here is I've gone ahead and written out the name because I want you to get in the habit of getting creative and knowing your naming conventions. Meaning if you're going to look at a JV contract and over the years you might have tons of JV contracts, you need to know what they are, why they were created. So what I normally do is I type in private promo. If it is a private promo, I type in the name of the JV and then I type in the product funnel. If that's what the, the contract is all about. So just like a coupon, you can select the individual products 
So obviously to this point, you will need to have created a duplicate of the funnel and created new buy buttons and all of that, new products and all of that. And the reason why you have to go through all of that is because in order to set up a JV agreement, you can't do that on an existing product. So that's a different topic for a different day. I'm mainly focusing on the JV contract itself, but I'm telling you what you need to do, which is duplicate the funnel, the funnel pages, the different products, set up brand new products and all of that. Yes, it can take time. It can take a couple hours to even half a day realistically, but this is an opportunity to make even more money. So once you set things up like a brand new product, a brand new funnel, then you can set up a JV contract. Now you can either set them up individually. You'll, if you set up specific products like here, you select the product, you will have to set up a JV contract for every single product, right? So you can do that. Or the easier way is you can say every product in the funnel and select the funnel here. So that's the easier route, assuming that you have set up everything in the funnel, you've duplicated the pages, you have set up custom, the, the buttons that are associated with the products, and you only need to create one JV agreement in this case and select the funnel here, and you're good to go. Now, there are several different types of JV agreements. There's percentage profit share, price share, flat fee per sale, percentage affiliate consultant, or flat fee affiliate consultant. So let me explain to you the differences between each of these. So percentage profit share is gonna be, you're gonna get a percentage based on the profit itself. So after you subtract all the fees and all the net, the leftover profit or net is the percentage. So let's say if out of $100 sale, you got fees and all that, and the fees and all that is $10. So the leftover is gonna be $90, right? So let's say you're gonna have a partner and you're going to get give them 50%, you're gonna get 50% profit share. In that case, it's gonna split the $90 in half and give them the 45 and you're gonna keep the 45. That's the profit share. The percentage price share is based on the price. So if they come in, they sell $100 price, they get $50 and you're not going to get $50. You're going to have to incur the fees and everything like that. So after the fees and all that, you get that amount left, right? So flat fee per sale will be an actual dollar amount. So $25 for every single sale. And then of course, percentage affiliate consultant will be like a JV broker. If they refer like a JV, then maybe they get like 10% every sale. So you could do 10% or a flat fee. So the next item is the JV Zoo, JV Affiliate ID. And you're not gonna be able to know this. You're gonna have to ask your JV for their affiliate ID. All they have to do is log into their JV Zoo account, go to the uh, settings and the profile, and they'll be able to get the ID and send it over to you. But this is not something that you're gonna be able to get and search for. So typically it's gonna be percentage profit share. You can enter the amount here. You got date and range, which is not optional. Typically, I don't even mess with any of these at all, but these are options that you can use if you want to do so, like max earnings or max sales. I typically don't touch that because I want the affiliate or the JV to earn as many sales, as many earnings as possible. And that's it. When you're done, click on save JV agreement and you're good to go. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.